What about you? Bad boy, it's kind of racist, sexist, or morally sound guy, nice guy? Uh, I'm going to marry the uh, morally sound man, and then I'm going to fuck the guy who could fuck. <laughs> do you, do you, Red lens is on. Yeah, that's, Red lens is on. Pretty, that's pretty real. Uh, do you cheat on your current man? Is it cheating yeah. if you have the conversation? So it's open on your end. I mean, if I let you know, then what's the issue? <laughs> okay. So it's open. Wow. I just be, tr be oh. truthful. Be straight about it. Is that's he open or is. no? I found a man who lives in the middle of nowhere. He's not doing anything. <laughs> Bro, so dude, you're having no, fun traveling wow. and stuff. Okay. No. So, okay, question. Because, all right, so it's you open like relationship for both of you or just open on your side? I never said it was open. I just said that we have communication. If there's something I do, I'm going to go and talk to him about it and say, hey, look, this is what I did. Are you okay with it or not okay with it? If you're not okay with it, then leave me. If you're not more okay with that, then go ahead oh, and go. Oh, so you'll, you'll, you, sure, you shoot first, ask questions later. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> okay, so you don't, even, you don't run it by him. You just do what you want and then just tell him after. I'm gonna let him know for sure. That's yeah. crazy. Okay, so hypothetically, I'm not saying I've done that yet, but that, that that's the situation. I've done cap. it before. I've done it before in relationships. That's Do you what... think this guy, like hypothetically speaking, let's say you found a guy here in Miami and you hooked up with him, and you went back to Saint, <laughs> to uh, <laughs> to Missouri and said, "Hey, I hooked up with a guy in Miami. Do you think he'd be okay with that?" It's not possible because I won't be hooking up with any boys in Miami. But hypoth I'm that's asking hypothetical yeah, question. There's no chance. <laughs> the, the person I am, they could never. Nobody here is ever gonna get it. Now, if you find me out in the middle of the woods with some cowboys, then yeah, he could ask that question. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him later. I'm gonna tell him afterwards. Confidence yeah. is startling. I'm gonna Wait, tell him afterwards. It, I'm I'm just saying hypothetically. I'm not gonna pick up the phone and be like, "Hey, I think this man's really fucking odd. He's turning me on. Can I go fuck him?" <laughs> Like, yeah, so you're just gonna weird. he's you're not just gonna cook. do it. Yeah, you're just gonna do it. It's not weird. Yeah. yeah okay. So if, if if I really feel the need to be with someone, then that's what I'm gonna do. Justin and Waller? then I'm gonna question myself the next day <laughs> of like, say, do I really do I really like the man I'm with if I just let some other boy spoon me? Like that's that's you know that that's a conversation I'm gonna have afterwards. Okay. And, and that's not even a car if I if I'm spooned by some little boy, then I, I didn't like the guy I was with. All right. So to me, it sounds like you got a guy now. But if something better comes along, you're going to entertain it and you're not going to like miss out on that opportunity. Um, yeah. And then you will tell him after the fact, yo, I found somebody else or I did this. Uh, not and then he's just got to deal with it. Uh, not long term. I wouldn't let it escalate too far. I would let them know immediately like, hey, you know, I, I like immediately. Damn. The, the, you would let what? Cowboy know or the guy that you got with just now? You would tell him? Oh, the boy I would just get with now. He would know I already have somebody. Okay. And, and, and let's be honest. They're not going to care. <laughs> Yeah, uh, th exactly. They're gonna do it anyway. That part. So, but your but your boyfriend, you're gonna tell him. You're gonna do what you want, and then you're gonna just tell him after the fact. Are you okay with like, like potential consequences of him leaving you or anything? Or are you that confident he's not going nowhere? It's not that I'm that confident that he's not going where. It's more of the fact of like if I let him know, like, hey, look, I fail. That's the part about relationships. Like, hey, look, I misstepped. I fucked up. Here is what it is. If you absolutely hate me after this conversation awesome but at least i feel good on my conscience that i came and talked to you about it <laughs> good on your conscience. Yeah, conscience if you decide to leave me because of me coming to you and being straight about it then that is what it is that's all, that's your decision to His make as a person yeah. just like i have my decision to make too and my decision was to be straight with you do you respect so. your man like really respect him no. nope i mean we've been together for six <laughs> months uh, yeah, okay 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 yeah. that, that uh, i would um <laughs> Uh, I mean, just I from can't. I would I, I would can't, uh, I can't with that. I would label your boyfriend as a placeholder. Placeholder is basically boyfriend. what it is. Uh, He's yep. kind of Cuck. you're you're you, you know can call him that. you're, you're call out him in the that. middle of you know, nowhere. Nowhere. <laughs> There's not many options out there. So you're like, you know what? This guy does the job for me out here. Oh no 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 no! I didn't say I'm in the middle of nowhere. I live in the city and I travel all the time. I said he's in the middle of nowhere, so I don't have to worry about him doing anything. That's what I said. I said my man. I'm not gonna find my man out doing something with some girl because. What, where are the girls at? She's the boss, man. No, she's where are the girls at? Yeah, Interesting. Wow. Hey. He's a good boy that keeps his ass at home. That's oh. what I have a question. You call him a so boy? Do you oh. think that that's Ooh. fair Ooh. to him? That's like, crazy. if the that's shoe crazy, was on bro. the other that's foot crazy. and, like, he found a job that, like, he could, like, travel and he started traveling and he was doing the same thing you were doing, how would you feel about that in that situation? Because right now it seems like because he can't go anywhere and he's in the middle of nowhere, as you put it, <laughs> that you're taking advantage and you're like, okay, I'm going to oh, do what shit. I want. But if the shoe was on the other foot, your feelings would be fucked. No offense, like no Point offense, period. but they would be. I've been in that situation. I'm good with it. I'm, I'm good with it. I'm an open person. I don't so. think you're that open though, yeah. because you know, like I, I said, I, I feel like this. you're taking advantage of the situation because he can't go anywhere. But if he were to, he can go say, places. find somewhere. <laughs> If he were to find somewhere or whatever and he Beast. had, like, he could travel or whatever or do something and he was doing the same thing you were doing, you would feel very, very, very in your feelings. 
I would so tell I don't him think that that's that fair. if you feel like that's what you want to do, please make yourself happy. Because at the end of the day, we're all getting buried by ourselves. So I just hope that whatever she don't this like is, him much, man. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like him that much. She doesn't like him that much. You should leave him alone so he yo, can find yo, someone this nice. Is, real talk. This is actually for the audience. Is, so he, is he a real alpha stop, male? Stop, 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 this is stop, stop, stop. the definition of a placeholder boyfriend, guys. Yeah, I mean, the, you guys are getting uh, it right here, right now. Like this is the definition of a placeholder boyfriend. Call him boy. Call him boy. Yeah. You're not playing. Be a little demon. God damn. Yeah, man. Okay. Shout out Jay Waller, man. So yeah. Okay. So bad boy, sexist racist, or good boy that's morally sound? I'm going to go for the good boy because there's 24 hours in the day. Stop the cap. And no, I am. And stop the cap. No, I will. I will because I can say this because I've had both. And I was happier with the good boy who was shitty in bed, who wasn't like the bad boy saying all these Why'd things. Why'd you leave him then? Where's he now? The what? The Why'd you boy? leave him? Yeah. Where's he now? Why'd you the leave good him? boy, he left me because he couldn't take all the OnlyFans money oh. and being onto Instagram yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. But I still, yes, of course. Having tough, man. Sex, oh, having you're sex. in a tough spot, Alexis. You're yeah, in a tough you, spot. Yeah, oh, man. Bro, you're almost you're 30, in a tough man. spot, man. You're almost 30. Figure Holy. it out. Oh, nah, it was having sex with the bad boy is great, but I, I prefer to be happy with someone <laughs> next to me, even if the sex is shitty, which is not, because if you got a penis, I'm going to make it work. There's no such thing as bad. <laughs> Like, that if you part. got it, I'm going to make it feel good. 100%. You can lay there, and it's going to feel good for me. I mean, so, there's no such well, thing no, as bad sex. Of, women one. is in the head, right? Yeah. They get you know, it's how you head. feel about the person. Because yeah. with the other person, with the bad boy, if I think about what he's saying and all these nasty races, all these things, and I have been with someone just like this, and I could really, like, say... I'm not going to feel that way about him in bed. Okay. I'm not going to want to please him because he's a, a mean person outside of the bedroom. You know? So I'm definitely going to say... It is mental. I'm, so I get I just want the peaceful life because I'm going to feel better about sleeping with you on the end of the day. I don't know, man. Oh, I guarantee man. if I lined up them 15 niggas that you yeah. smashed, they're probably all very yeah. similar and probably assholes to a degree. Yeah. They are. But... <laughs> but, 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 but so <laughs> Than others. Yeah. Oh my gosh, bro. Right. Yeah. Oh, child, you got caught in 4K like this. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. What's yeah. 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 no, no. It's funny. Man. You, don't, you don't date niggas. It's man. funny. Yeah, man. Ask a girl about her ex, tell you everything. Yeah, okay. I mean, if you look at like a girl's ex boyfriends, a lot yeah. of the times they're going to be way more similar. Than you, than, than you think mm -hmm. like women really don't like variety in men like we want in women like they yeah. women have a type and they kind of stick on that type most of the time and they might deviate once and try something new but most of the time they stick to the same dude i might mention if they actually made a change for that type of guy yeah it's because they're broken which kind of fucks it. it's fucked yeah. that's yeah. the truth it's they're from trauma through. that's yeah. why we're attracted ran to ran certain types of men no, it is what it is yeah. no, it it sucks but yeah. okay right. what about you uh bad boy sexist racist or <laughs> good boy morally sound I would take the boy that's bad in bed because I like to teach people things. I mean, you used to be a teacher, I love so you. makes sense. All right, cool. <laughs> what about you? The morally sound. Why? Um, everyone's trainable. <laughs> exactly. Would you want to be with a guy that you have to train? Really? Um. Sit down. Yeah, I've, I've been there in that position before. Where's he at now, then? Not with me. <laughs> he left you or you left him? I left him. Of course. Oh, so clearly it doesn't work, right? Training guys? No, it, it still works. I trained him. And y'all are not together, so clearly it doesn't work. Well, there's other reasons of why it didn't work. That's why didn't it work that. then? Oh, we shouldn't get into that. I mean, if Did you he... trained him properly, I mean, it should have worked, right? He probably trained you. No, not at all. <laughs> so you trained him, so then why didn't it work if you built him up to the boy, be the boyfriend you want? Doesn't make sense. There's a lot that goes into that, but he was trainable. Everyone's trainable. Well, if you trained him, then how'd he fail? I can't say. I guess the trainer's a failure then. No. <laughs> so then no, tell no, us no. what happened. <laughs> I can't. Not on here. <laughs> what the hell did he do? It's a law enforcement. Uh, did he smack you? No. <laughs> she no. smacked him. <laughs> yes. yes. Learn, bitch. <laughs> Falcon. Uh <-huh>. Punch. Okay. <laughs> I mean, look, man. Yo, bro. Yo, I I'd say on the podcast all the time. They're not leaders. Eh, no offense, but you guys just keep proving me right all the time. Yeah, like you, you don't build a man up. Because I tell you this, man, if I had a girl and I built her up into the girl that I that I want, yeah. I ain't going nowhere. She's fucking gonna uh, turn her into the girlfriend I want. Like men are able to train women into the woman they love, but women will train a man into something they hate. Hundred percent. But you don't have to build us up because we're natural nurturers and feminine, so you don't nah, have to. Nah, I do disagree with that wholeheartedly. Like, you need a lot of training. Yeah. By the way, call girl. Yeah. 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 You need a lot of training, man. Yeah. No, I, I disagree with that, and let me tell you why I disagree with that very strongly. Um, most women have very bad habits that are not 
conducive to a good long term relationship that you have to train that you have to train out of them. Like what? Such as like her. Sam, uh, I'm mean, example. You're acting like I'm these club rats that you have on here. I'm also out in the woods by myself. Okay. Well, like. <laughs> it's it's not just it's not just that. Um, there's just a multitude of bad habits that modern women exhibit that hurt relationships. Um, yeah. we, we can go into you know a need for attention. Uh, thinking that it's appropriate to go to a nightclub when you have a man at home. Thinking it's okay to fraternize with other men when you have a man at home. Uh, keeping around girlfriends that are promiscuous. Uh, going on girls trips. Uh, thinking that it's okay to dress provocatively when you're not I with your man you. and not checking in with him. Um, not cleaning the house, not cooking, not cleaning, not doing what women are supposed to do and what they've been doing for literally centuries. Um, women think nowadays that they could behave like men but still be treated like ladies. And my argument is I'm not going to go ahead and give you chivalry and treat you like a gentleman when you're not acting like a lady. And most women lack the ability to act like a lady. A lot of women are rambunctious, crass, rude, annoying, disrespectful, don't have a general uh, respect for masculinity and leadership. They think that they're equal to men. And uh, that's why a lot of girls need to get bad habits trained out of them. And a lot of modern women exhibit these traits. Especially when you make money. Yeah. Did, you have, did you have something to respond to? Go ahead, yeah, please. so are we talking about the average woman here, or are you talking about us? I'm talking about women in general in oh, okay, Western. Okay. In the Western, average, the, the average, average woman. Okay. If you take in, uh, the average Westernized woman from a first world country, this yeah. is how they behave. This is how they view the world. And as a man, it's your job to deprogram a lot of these bad habits out of them. Well, question for you, sir. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> by, the way, by the way, that includes you too, by the way. Yeah, because I, I wrote with you with that, like that. If a woman would, would, be, would be equivalent to that, right, that, that did all that, what was still the masculine man from having that viewpoint? If I don't a woman, understand your if, question. If, if, if the woman would still be subservient in a sense okay. you know all right what about that respectful to the men because yeah. that's very important right which i i agree upon that 100 percent. you don't want to put your place in a position when you're in a relationship to um today today yes what's your question so specifically? my question specifically is then why is women still specifically seen as that position that position that position, yes. Why are women in what position? I don't understand your question. Like what you're saying, that you still, you still, just you, you still, you still see women in such a, a <laughs> negative viewpoint. I don't look at women in a negative viewpoint. I look at women for what they are in 2023, and the reality is, is that women behave more like men now than ever before. Because we're forced to be be perceived in such a way. Well, I would argue well, that. I mean, there's a where, multitude. Where are the men that they stand up to stand up well, for? There's a lot it of. It starts with our fathers. There's, you asked there's, around there's you. There's a multitude of reasons. Yes, I, I was going to say that. You, yeah. It, there's a multitude of reasons why we can blame feminism. We can blame fatherless households. There's a bunch of reasons why women behave the way that they do. But I'm just identifying how they currently behave, and I'm just saying that given the fact that so many women don't grow up with a traditional masculine father. Fatherless households, not a strong two-parent household, lack of religion, lack of shame, social stigmas, etc. It's why, and feminism, it's why women behave the way that they do. So what I'm saying is that as a man going into out there in the world and meeting women that are westernized, they have bad habits that you have to train out of them. Um, you know, and it's I don't think, I don't think, yeah, it, it no, sucks. It's but it's extremely unfortunate. But honestly. it doesn't work the other way around because she said, oh, well, I trained my guy, but it didn't work out. But I guarantee you, if he was the authority and he trained you, you guys would still be together. You'd listen. That's the difference because... <laughs> When men will build up a woman into something they love, women will build a guy into something they resent. Because whenever a woman builds a man up, she is the authority. If a woman has authority over you, she does, cannot respect you. And if a woman does not respect you, she can't have sex with you and like you. Women must respect you first, and that respect stems from fear. Where does that fear come from? Oh, well, this guy might leave me. He has other options. He's wildly attractive. If I fuck up, he's going to kick me to the side of the road immediately. That's what women respect. How about men's insecurity towards a woman? What are you talking about? They can be with a beautiful woman that's subservient and that can be everything that they need and they have their own insecurity because of the way that they were raised and brought up. Insecurity so, how? I don't understand. It, what are you it, trying it, to say it, insecurity? It, it, the, the same thing that you said can be can be flip-flopped and and tried in, in a different way. No, it can't because men and women's roles are different. They can't I, be flip-flopped. Yes, that's precisely the problem. No, I agree with you 100%. I think a man should be accountable and should be a man. I think we agree. And women, and women nowadays have to stand up 
and have to double down on it, right? Because men do not know how to, um, you know. They should have never gave us rights, and we just wouldn't be no, in this situation. Well, okay. I'm not saying that. Right? Like that. But the, no, roles, the roles are reversed. But you know what I'm talking about. Men are becoming more like women. Women are becoming more I don't have men. a problem with women problem. entering the workforce and making money and doing what they want. I don't think they but yeah. I, don't have, I understand that you have to survive and you have to get your money. Um, but with that said, right, that causes issues for women a lot of the times. Go, entering the workforce, making a lot of money, chasing an education, it inherently masculinizes you. That's just what it is. Because in order to make money and become successful and rise up the ranks, you have to have a killer mindset. You have to be ambitious. You have to be confident. You have to have competence. These are all masculine traits. Or you have the masculine, the masculine right, individuals look, 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 that look, take look, over look, women's look, 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 rights. Look, look. <laughs> With all due respect, if you're going to interject and make comments and so, or ask questions or whatever, you need to think before you speak. Yeah, I don't know so. if you're drunk or high or whatever the fuck it is, but I'm you're hurting the quiet of the show. So think before you speak. Have your ideas ready and say it in I've, a coherent manner. Shut up. Say it in a coherent manner so we actually understand what's going on. I'm okay with you contributing to the show, but right now you're hurting the quiet of the show because I don't know what, what you're on, I, but you I'm need to really like think before you speak. Anything. Pass your bedtime. Okay? I think apologize. before you speak, please. But it's the same. If a woman brings to the table, equivalent. Let someone else talk. Let someone else talk. Okay. Uh, what about you? 